Most true. I have lost my teeth in your service. I can't be with my old master. Van Cortland has been the host of many outdoor activities this summer, and theater has been one of the big hits. Tonight, Shakespeare in the Park hits the stage with the Hip to Hip Theater Company. Yeah, today's our 10th season. We started 10 years ago in Queens and what started with uh, just one play to about maybe six, 700 people um, uh, to our 10th season. Last year, um, we, you know, we had everything. We had a two story set, we had lighting, we had audio, all the actors were mic'd. Um, and we performed to about 8,000 people as opposed to the first year where it was just, you know, costumes from home and sheets behind us. Uh, this year we changed it up a little bit by doing a stage, uh, so many people coming out to see us that we wanted to raise the actors up um, so that way there were no cheap seats. People can come up closer and see us and, and even from uh, far back see us uh, on the stage. Even with the threat of rain, folks came out to see the play. A testament to the theater company's beliefs that the Bronx appreciates the arts and needs more of it. Since our mission is to bring uh, classics, particularly Shakespeare, to neighborhoods that don't get a lot of access to the arts. Um, we follow the model of Joseph Papp in the public theater down in, uh, in New York, um, and the New York Times actually just recently wrote that we were proudly carrying the mantle of Joseph Papp by bringing Shakespeare to the neighborhoods where people lived and died. So we were only in Queens, and it just made a lot of sense it, 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 for us to bring it to the next borough, the Bronx, where I had a lot of affiliations, and I had a lot of people that helped me roll it out here. Unfortunately, the rain didn't hold out and the play had to be cut short, but you can still experience Shakespeare in the park before the summer is out. And please uh, take note of the next Bronx date, um, which is the last Sunday in August. It's during the day. It's a four o'clock children's show. Five o'clock, it's the main stage production, and we're doing Julius Caesar. So there's sword fighting, and there's uh, some blood, and, uh, and I, it's guaranteed to be a good time, provided there's no thunder, <laughs> lightning, and rain. <laughs> you can get the schedule of the next play on hiptohip.org. For Bronxnet, I'm Veronica Guiti. Your heart's desire to be with you.